I'm Dr. Neil Barnard from the Physicians Committee in Washington, D.C., and I'm on the faculty at the George Washington University School of Medicine. Today, I'm going to be giving a talk about how plant-based diets, vegetarian or vegan diets, can promote weight loss. So many people want to lose weight, and the easiest and healthiest and most effective way of doing that is to get the animal products off your plate. It's very, very effective, and I am presenting the scientific evidence showing that it works. When people follow a vegan diet, it's remarkable to see how many benefits they get. It helps the heart, not just preventing heart problems, but when a person already has heart problems, it can reverse that to a degree. It cleans out the arteries. It can prevent diabetes and improve that to the extent that many people no longer have diabetes anymore or it gets a lot better. It can help the brain. It can re reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. It can bring down blood pressure. And perhaps best of all, you can live longer. So all of these things go together. There are different types of diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is the very common one. And we have done a lot of research bringing people with type 2 diabetes into our research center and putting them on a healthy diet. We do three things. The first is no animal products. That means a vegan diet. Second, we keep oils very low. So instead of pouring oil all over our food, we keep it to a minimum. And third, we choose healthy carbohydrates. So not a lot of sugary things, but beans, vegetables, pasta, all these are good. And what we have seen is that people who have diabetes improve, their blood sugars come down, in many cases they reduce their medicine, and sometimes they get off their medicines completely. We even see people occasionally where you never would have even known that they've had diabetes. The early we're, earlier we get to it, the better, that, the better people do. The new frontier is the brain. And evidence strongly suggests that if a person follows a healthy plant-based diet, it will protect the brain, particularly against the problems that occur in later life, like Alzheimer's disease. Why? First of all, we've learned that people who eat lots of animal fat, scientifically we call it saturated fat, uh, when people consume a lot of metals like iron or copper that are found in liver and in meats, as well as in cookware and things like that. When people avoid these things, their risk of Alzheimer's drops. Studies show that when people follow plant-based diet, their risk drops as well. There are other steps, like exercise, that are important. But if you put it all together, I believe that we can prevent many cases of Alzheimer's disease, and that's really good news. My research team conducts a number of studies. We publish them in leading medical journals, and they're available to people who look for them on the typical search engines that scientists use. But we're not the only research team that does this. There are many others as well who are either observing vegetarians and tracking how well they do, or in some cases actually putting people on vegetarian diets when the people may have never done this before. And then they're seeing how they can improve. So all of these individuals are publishing their findings. And at important conferences, they present the results and then publish them in journals so that uh, it can be debated, discussed, and uh, dissected even. And the results can be widely known. I've had the pleasure of visiting Italy many times, and there are many aspects of Italian cuisine that are very, very favorable. For example, if I get a vegetable soup in Italy, it's different from the vegetable soup I get in New York. The one in New York has vegetables, but it also has little bits of meat in it for flavor. Well, the one in Italy will be pure vegetables. In, if I'm in Chicago and I ask for a pizza, they've never heard of pizza without cheese. They put that much cheese on top. But if I'm in Milan, if I'm in Rome, um, if I'm in Capri, everybody knows how that to make a pizza without cheese. It's easy. Every restaurant has two or three without any cheese at all. So there are many aspects that are very favorable. But I didn't want to say that the Italian diet was perfect. 
There are a few things that could be changed there as well. But it is so easy to eat the healthy foods, the vegetables, the fruits, the whole grains, the beans, the pasta. All of these are very, very good for you, and Italian cuisine has made the most of it. I grew up in a part of the United States called North Dakota. It's right next to Canada. And my grandfather raised cattle. And his father raised cattle, and his father, and his father, and all the way back. My father did not like the cattle business. He left and he went to medical school and he spent his life treating diabetes. But it was a frustrating condition because he had medicines. We still ate like we were in the cattle business. So diabetes did not get a lot better. But when I finished medical school, I started to use plant-based diets because a lot of evidence suggested it might help. And indeed it does. So I hate to say it, but all of the meat the dairy products and things that my own family raised, well, maybe that was not the best thing. It's never too late to change. And if I can change my diet, I know that other people can as well. And we're seeing many, many doctors around the United States and around the rest of the world who are now re realizing that a plant-based diet is the fundamental uh, approach to health. If we've got that going for us, everything else is much easier.